Hello guys and welcome Woo! back to Car Focus. Now it's been a few weeks, actually it's been a month since I had my Scorpion catback exhaust fitted and the video I put out it mainly kind of featured the fitment process and the guys at Scorpion themselves. It didn't really include what the exhaust is like to actually live with and what it you know what it sounds like on the car so this video is all about that this is what the exhaust is like to live with have i made a mistake fitting this exhaust would i want to go back to the stock exhaust and would i recommend this exhaust well to answer all of your questions in one sentence i think this exhaust is bloody brilliant and i do not want to change it back to stock <laughs> I don't know how well you guys can hear that, but it sounds so much better than the stock exhaust. It's ridiculous. It's basically, let's imagine this car was like a Rottweiler puppy. This is my kind of way of explaining it. So it was a Rottweiler puppy, had a little high-pitched bark, looked quite mean, but this didn't sound, you know, that menacing. Well, the Rottweiler wakes up in the morning, he's hit puberty and his testicles have dropped and he develops a proper bark. That's basically what has happened to this car when I've changed the exhaust. It's now developed a proper bark. If we wind down these windows a little bit, I don't know if you can hear it. <laughs> it's an absolute beast. When you're just cruising around kind of off boost, it's got a nice purr to it, but it's not that much louder than stock. I mean, it is noticeably different, but it's not like droney, um, it's not embarrassing. But then when you actually step on the throttle, as I will demonstrate. The exhaust just completely opens up and it sounds like an animal. It's amazing. I've gone for the valve system. So when you're basically in normal mode and you're cruising along on the motorway at just say 70, 80, the valve shuts and there's literally no drone whatsoever. It is it's exactly the same as the stock exhaust. It's completely manageable. And the only time I will say you do get a little bit of drone, there's a road sweeper here, hang on. Yeah, the only time I, you do get a little bit of drone is at low speed. So if you're kind of pooling around town at say sort of 15, 20, 25 miles an hour, it can be a little bit droney. But other than that, it's incredible. And I'm, I'm more than happy to put up with a tiny little bit of drone at low speeds. Oh God, it is so anti-social. But that, yeah, that is the only negative thing I can think about of this exhaust. One other thing I've picked up on, and this is no fault of the exhaust itself. This is the Ford exhaust valve. Um, sometimes the valve shuts and when you accelerate it stays closed which can be a bit annoying because sometimes you'll want the extra sound and you you put your foot down and you just don't get it because the valve shut so i either go into normal mode and back into sport and it'll open up or i'll come to a stand pull away and then the valve will open up again but yeah i mean there is a way around that you can there is a guy um, called joffo i think he runs a company called j9 performance he's actually developed a valve controller so you just plug it into the um into the valve uh, plug on the motor and then you have a controller which you can have in the car and you can have it open all the time closed all the time you can basically have full control over it because the ford ecu it regulates it as and when it sees fit but when you're driving hard oh god it is open 90 percent of the time but yeah i'd recommend the valve system purely because like i say you do have that option for the exhaust to be quiet. With valveless, it's going to be loud all the time. Brings me on to cold starts. Cold start is very loud because the valve opens up on cold start. If you're getting up early in the morning to go to work, you're going to cheese your neighbours off with the cold start. So if you want to go for the valve system and you're getting up early with the cold starts, I recommend getting the valve controller. As I was talking about, it's about £100, but you can have the valve closed on a cold start. It makes it far more kind of sociable and your whole neighborhood won't hate you. But yeah, my overall impressions uh, of this exhaust is fantastic. The build quality is second to none. It looks amazing from the back with the nice chrome tailpipes. 
the uh, the Daytona tips are the ones I think you should go for. The Indy ones are nice, but the Daytonas they just look a bit more kind of OEM plus with the slash cut. Look really sweet. Um, so yeah, the only thing I'm thinking of now is do I go for the sports cat to complement the exhaust, and then I can go to the stage two map. So yeah, I'm not. I'm kind of thinking about it. But I always said with this car, I don't want to modify it too much, but when you start doing mods, it's like a slippery slope. But who knows, I might go for the sports cat and then load up the Ultima 3 map and have some fun. What do you guys think? Should I do it? Or should I keep it as it is now, just with the cat back exhaust and the Ultima 2 Plus map? Hmm. Anyway, enough blabbering on. I want to put some clips in now of the exhaust. Drive-bys, GoPro clips from the back. They don't really do it justice. It sounds much better in reality. But, um, and also I would normally use a DSLR with the road mic, but the battery's run out. So I've had to use the G7X with the standard mic. It's got such a nice little rasp. Such a deep sort of rasp to it when you come on the, uh, when you come on the accelerator and the pops and bangs, they're like a proper, it's like a shotgun going off now. Proper loud pops and bangs. Anyway guys, yeah, just a quick video. As I said, I'll put in the clips now. Comment below, tell me what you think. Would you want to get a Scorpion exhaust now? I highly recommend it. Transforms a car, as I've said. Sounds like a proper rally car. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching this video guys. And until the next one, I shall see you soon. <laughs> Ooh. God, listen to that. <laughs> you need one of these.